Peace, YouTube. Who is sugar? Back to show you guys how to prepare this easy and delicious orange barbecue chicken, baby. So the ingredients you will need include four tablespoons of dark brown sugar, two tablespoons of soy sauce, or you can use liquid aminos, two tablespoons of ketchup, one tablespoon of sunflower oil or any other flavorless oil that you happen to have in your pantry, two teaspoons of whole grain mustard, two juicy garlic cloves that have been crushed, the juice from one orange, this is about three tablespoons, this is about a medium sized orange, and a good dash of liquid smoke. Now you're gonna mix all that yummy goodness together. Now I'm using a little less than two pounds of boneless, skinless chicken thighs. I clean them and I place it in this here glass dish. If you don't have a glass dish, you can use a Ziploc bag. Now you're gonna spoon all that barbecue sauce all over your chicken and just make sure you coat all sides well. Once you have finished, you're going to cover it up and place it in your refrigerator for at least four hours so that your chicken can marinate. So five hours later, now it is time to thoroughly cook your chicken. You can use whatever method of your choosing. I am using my handy dandy panini maker, but you can put this on your grill or you can bake it in your oven. Now you see that barbecue sauce on the side, we're going to keep it. I know what you're thinking, but should, what about salmonella poison and stuff? Okay, this is where this pan comes in because we're gonna take that barbecue sauce and we're going to cook it, reduce it, and it's going to make this delicious glaze that makes my mouth water just sitting here looking at it. All right, so once our chicken has been completely cooked, we're going to take that glaze and just brush it all over our chicken. Make sure you flip it over. So you can get the glaze on the other side. Now we like our chicken to have like that nice caramelization and a little bit of Cajun happening on there. So what I will do is I will close my panini maker for a good minute or so. And it is all done. Look at all of that yummy goodness. My God, my mouth is watering just looking at it on the screen. So what I did was I paired it with some 15 minute macaroni and cheese. I'm going to show you how I made this macaroni and cheese tomorrow. Look at that. Mmm. And of course you need the greens, so I used some sauteed lacinato kale, and yes, the food was amazing. So that is it for this tutorial. I hope that you all found it useful. If you missed my last video, I'm going to link it here on the screen. It is but should why don't you show your daughter's face in your videos. I explained all of that in this video. So yeah, I will see you all tomorrow for the quick and easy 15 minute macaroni and cheese video. All right, guys, if you have not done so, go ahead and subscribe to my channel. Upload videos every day for the month of October. All right, guys, be blessed. Peace.